Hey YouTube, it's ICU2, and today I'm going to show you guys how to use your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad as a wireless hard drive, basically, using a program called Air Sharing. So this has actually been around for a while now, but I just felt like I should share it with you guys because I tried it and I thought it was really cool. So basically, you're just going to have to have an iPhone. It doesn't have to be jailbroken or anything. And aside from that, all you need is a Wi-Fi connection. So you're going to have to have this program, Air Sharing. You can either get the normal Air Sharing or Air Sharing Pro, or if you're on an iPad, Air Sharing HD. But I'm going to be demoing this on my iPhone using Air Sharing Pro. So basically all you have to do is just load up the app. And then in order to connect it, you're going to have to go to your computer, and you're going to have to go to the Start menu and type in Windows Explorer, and then just launch it. And then all you have to do inside of Windows Explorer is press the Alt key on your keyboard, and then go to Tools, and then map network drive and then you can change the drive letter to anything you want it doesn't really matter and then here on your iDevice you're gonna have to click the little button down at the bottom that looks like a Wi-Fi symbol just press that and then it gives you your bonjour and your IP address so uh, it gives you two of them the only difference is after the HTTP on the second one it gives you an S so basically you can just use either one. I'm just going to use my Bonjour one. And then also, if you have an actual password on your iPhone or iPod Touch or iPad, then it would be in the settings, which is the little tool wrench right there. And you can change that right there, but you don't need to worry about that unless it actually pops up after you go to connect to it on your uh, drive here. So just click finish, and then it says attempting to connect. And as you can see, it loaded up 100%, and I'm at computer right here, and it gives me my hard disks, and then right here it says network location, and uh, this is where it is, and then it tells me how much is free, the total size, everything. And to add something to it, all I have to do is just go into it by double-clicking, and then I can just drag this firmware in here if I want to. But I'm going to do something better, like dragging this picture into here. And it's almost done copying it over. Okay, so now it's copied it over and it says it's right here. So now if I bring up my iPhone right here, it says I have the picture right here and all I can do is just tap on it and it shows me the picture and it's my desktop background. So I can also take stuff from my iPhone the same way, but I'm not going to do that because I want to keep this video short. Now you can search through it uh, right there just by clicking it and it lets you search, obviously. Then you can click the little book for the bookmarks. You can click the little question mark if you don't know how to do something. And as I mentioned before, the wrench is settings. So I hope you guys liked this. It was just basically a quick rundown of Air Sharing HD. And if you don't know how to get free paid applications, you can click inside of my iPhone. You will be taken to my video on how to get cracked apps, which are free paid applications for the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. And I hope you guys liked this video. This is ICU2 signing out.